Learning with the Pros, brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. When you come to a new area and it's unfamiliar fishing grounds, and you're going to go and start targeting halibut, I'm going to give you a few points as to what you can look for on your, on your GPS, which will then go and give you telltale signs of where halibut are going to be congregating typically. So if we go over here to the Lawrence, I've brought up an area here in Queen Sound, and surrounding areas are all deep. So we've got 470, 515, 463, but then it plateaus up and we've got 262, you know, to 328. So those halibut are then going to be going sitting on top of those little shoals, those shallow areas, and they'll actually be congregating near the edge. And that's where, you know, they're waiting for that bait fish to come up over top of it, or they're, they're just hanging around. You're also looking for sand, gravel, or shale. And those markings are on your GPS. So the lettering here, the S and the SH, stands for sand and shale. Just like up here, this M stands for mud. Or if you see a G, that's for gravel. Or R is for rock. So the halibut like that sand, the shale, and gravel as the bottom. If you're having trouble, or if you have any questions, of the local area, by all means, go and ask other fellow anglers that you see out in their water or at the dock, as most likely everyone will be willing to share their knowledge of the local halibut hotspots. For this tip and many more, visit bcoutdoorsmagazine.com.